All right. Good morning. That's what happens when Mr. Platt, Pratt plays this stuff. Yeah. So welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome, eighth grade. You guys all well rested after last night? No? Me neither. Me neither. So hopefully you had a wonderful time at your memories at Memorial and your dinner dance. Was that food fabulous or what? Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. All right, so welcome to our eighth grade award assembly. Assembly. We have many, many awards to be giving out today. Um, lots of hard work and achievement that we would like to recognize. And um, we are integrating also our student of the month into this assembly as well. So we got a long, probably hour ahead of us with lots of fun things. Yep, you're going to have to sustain for an hour. Can you do it? Yeah. You can do it. Because at 11.15, what, what starts? Summer. summer. Are you excited for summer? <laughs> That's what I thought. So let's do this. We will start with uh, Unified Arts and Mr. Kutu. <laughs> OK. I love this part of the job. Um, how is everyone today? Good? We start summer vacation in only a few hours. Um, actually, yeah, a few hours. Um, anyways, what I want to do is, um, first of all, I want to say this is actually uh, one of the most uh, amazing eighth grade classes I've ever had. This was actually, um, this was actually, I, I truly mean that. You kids actually really made me actually love my job, actually, and I mean that. Um, it was a great year. DC, uh, the DC trip is almost like a vacation this year. You know, what I mean, no problem. It was just, uh, it was amazing. Um, my advisory, absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing group of kids. The um, band kids, actually, I, I, I actually get the eighth graders, amazing kids. Um, it, it was actually a really easy, fun year. It went by quick. Anyways, with that said, these same kids actually are the same kids that make fun of my truck, my motorcycle, <laughs> my music. Uh, they make fun of, uh, when I say the gym, I go into the gym, they actually start laughing. What's up with that? Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, when I actually uh, had this, um, uh, had to do these awards, actually, it was actually incredibly tough. I actually had the office printout uh, all six of my eighth grade class, and I had to walk around with this list uh, in my pocket. I took it home, uh, highlighted everything, and by the time I was done, I should have just used yellow paper. So, anyways, I had to start thinking about uh, uh, reducing it somehow, so I started thinking about the kids that make fun of my truck, my motorcycle, all that stuff. <laughs> and um, anyways, um, these kids actually meet Tiger expectations. They're outstanding, outstanding effort, attitude, behavior. Uh, always willing to challenge themselves and, and try new things. Uh, they completed all art projects at the highest quality. They have the highest grade average. Uh, I couldn't reduce it down to just a few kids, actually a couple kids actually. So I have, uh, can please hold your applause for a little while. Um, Mariah Lloyd. Jenna Hilbert. Mia Brancheri. Jane Mitchell. Uh, let's see. Alexis Marks. Congratulations. Mia, congratulations. Trying to do this quick. Jane Mitchell, Alexis Marks, uh, Natalia Bertuccio, Alex Carroll. Isabella Ivanyi. Awesome effort. Oh, Alex. There you go, good old. Anyways, uh, then I actually have a really big award, and uh, this one is actually a personal award. Um, this is actually an award I got here when I was in eighth grade. Um, the eighth grade teacher saw something special, the art teacher. 
Uh, anyways, uh, this is the Mabel Burton Creative Arts Award. The Creative Arts Award is given to an artistically talented eighth grade student selected by the art teacher who has demonstrated a commitment to excellence on art projects over their three years at Pella Memorial School. This award is presented in memory of the Mabel Burton by the Burton family to express their commitment to art education. It is my pleasure to present this award, uh, and this is a kid that actually, um, this is an award I actually give to kids. I actually look from sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. Um, uh, this actually goes to Molly Sauer. Guys, have a great summer. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Good. All right. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to be your teacher for two years. I have loved getting to know you. You are awesome people. Don't forget to do your power poses and remind yourself that you are awesome people. You are worthy of love and caring. I hope you take great care of yourselves over the summer and have a lot of fun. Good luck next year. Come back and visit and say hi. Um, it is hard to choose a few students for this award. What I base it on, um, Health Students of the Year, people who come to class every day ready to learn, have fun, good attitude. Um, they're respectful, responsible, and kind. Those are really the top three for me. Willing to help others. Um, they share great ideas in the classroom uh, and make the classroom better. They help us they, you know, think outside the box. They come up with new stuff that makes everything better. Uh, they go above and beyond in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. Uh, and I really want to thank you all and especially these students for everything that they've done all this year. I'm gonna read five names, so if you can hold your applause until the end. Matt Plutnicki, Taylor Galgay, Jake Cawthron, <laughs> Hannah Cook, and Brooke Slayton. Good morning, everybody. Um, a couple weeks ago, we had a senior grad walk uh, where students uh, from 12th grade walked through both elementary school and the middle school. Uh, I have fortunately been here long enough that I'm starting to see students that I had um, walking through. And if I could give you one piece of advice, that those that it's a quick, you know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds. Um, but when you do walk through the elementary school and you do walk through the middle school and you see a teacher that you remember that had a positive impact, maybe it's a small thing, maybe it's a big thing, give them, give them a hello. It means more to us than you realize uh, and it's always amazing to see you and I hope to see you guys at the grad walk a few years from now. So the award for general music is something I give out, uh, and I don't necessarily give it out to the best musician in the room. Um, it's totally irrelevant to be comparing yourself to your peers with music, when music is something that you do to express yourself. Really, it's ultimately up to you, and you compare yourself from the moment you walked into my door to the moment you're leaving. And that kind of growth takes a certain mindset um, and a positive, if I can't do something, you say, I can't do that yet. Um, and if it's not music that you're passionate about, I get it. There's other things in life and I hope that you give it the patience uh, that it deserves so that you can really truly enjoy these things. Uh, the two awards that I'm giving out uh, are for Kate Stevens and Cole Druin. Have an excellent summer, everybody. And 
so we meet again. It is a, a very bittersweet time, uh, and most of you heard me throughout the entire year just talk about how much I've enjoyed this class. Uh, when you came in as, as sixth graders, I absolutely loved you, and now that you're in eighth grade, I wish I had three more years with you. Um, it has been, and as you guys know, um, from the, the time that you had last night, uh, it's been something where you've grown so close together. Um, it's been an emotional time for some of us, some more than others, uh, but it's been awesome. So thank you guys so much for making this. Uh, I've been teaching for nine years now, and this is by far my favorite year of teaching, so I really appreciate that. Um, we talk so much in PE about doing the right thing, having good character, being a good person, uh, more than anything. It doesn't matter how good you are at sports. What matters is if you can walk in and you can have fun doing what you're doing, making fun out of whatever we do. Not actually making fun of it, but making fun out of it. Um, and sometimes you can make fun of it too, but uh, as long as we're having a good time together. Um, the character of these two individuals is impeccable. It's something that they walked into the class every day. They were enthusiastic about what we did. Uh, but even more than that, the kindness that they showed towards others, um, regardless of if they're playing a sport that they're good at and others are struggling, they'd be the first to reach out to them, to be kind to them, uh, and to really make the, the environment an incredible place. So the Physical Education Award is given to the student who truly exemplifies the attributes that are the founding or the foundation of the Pell Memorial School PE program. This type of student demonstrates excellent participation, values, sportsmanship, and most importantly, excellent character. Their efforts truly enhanced the PE experience uh, for the entire class. So it is my honor and privilege to call up these two individuals, uh, Carly Sloan and Alex Gagnon. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Meyer, I'm the new computer teacher. Um, thank you, eighth graders, for welcoming me, but more importantly, teaching me the ways of middle school. Um, so you guys were the leaders, and you guys took me under your wing, you made sure I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing, and all of you who are, most of them, you way taller than me, were always willing to grab everything that I needed that was way up high, so thank you for being so tall. Um, because I am shrinking, I think. Um, I love being part of this team, and I really hope you guys continue all of your incredible work. I hope you each continue putting amazing work in your e-portfolio that you guys created this past year. You guys are rock stars, and you will succeed in anything and everything that comes your way, and I'm a proud to be a part of a little part of that. Um, the two students that I have chosen this year um, really probably should have taught the class. I was blown away with all of their technology, um, knowledge, and resources, and drive to do the absolute ultimate best um, every day in the class. So this year's awards for super technology student goes to Shaley, uh, Shaylin Hinton and Andrew Healy. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Everything. Oh, I'm the only one to do it. Mrs. Mead uh, will be presenting next. <laughs> All right. Good morning, class of 2019. You did it and you did a great job. It's been a pleasure working with you guys these past three years. Um, first, let me say it is not an easy thing to pick out awards on a limited basis, uh, as my colleagues have been saying. For my awards, pretty much I use the Tiger values, things like respect, collaboration, willingness to help, positivity, responsibility, and a real interest in language. 
Uh, my first candidate does excellent work. She displays a keen interest in language, and she's a great role model for others. She is Taylor Galgay. Come on up, Taylor. And my other um, student uh, consistently does high work, quality work, I'm sorry, is always willing to help others. He's a very positive collaborator in class and also a great role model for other students. He is Isaac Halco. Come on up, Isaac. Okay, class of, I'm sorry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do you know where this lovely woman is going next year? Retirement. Let's have a big round of applause for Mrs. Lee. Class of 2019, go forth and do great things. Oh, the places you will go. How do I follow that? Gee, Mrs. Mead, we will certainly miss you. You're, you're definitely loved here. Um, Friday morning next week, when you're laying in bed or lying by the pool, whatever it is you're doing, I want you to think about what you'd be doing if you were with me. What would we be doing on a Friday? Free, free read Friday. So hopefully you guys will keep that up. I know next year um, you have your reading lists already. So just remember the library is a great place to be. Um, it's always lots of fun. Whoever said libraries were quiet places has never been to ours. Um, so everyone already said what I wanted to tell you guys. I love you, you're awesome, it's been great. Every time I think about it, you guys are still sixth graders in my mind. I can't believe you're here already in eighth. So, the student of the years. Um, these are two students who go above and beyond. Their learning doesn't just stop in the classroom. They're excited, they're exciting, and they're always doing their best. So, first we have Jane Mitchell and Jacob Baker. Now we have the Vocabulary.com Awards. Third place, these are students that re are earned the highest points for Vocabulary.com. Uh, Jonathan Strout. Second place, we have Kungu Murby. place we have Alex Carroll. Yeah. I'll miss you guys. Come visit. I'll see you around. I'll see you when you're driving past the high school in a few years. It's really scary to see you guys in cars. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, good morning. I'm Mrs. Saunders, the band teacher. Uh, welcome to the day I've been dreading for three years. Um, I'm a little mad at you because you made me have an emotion and you know how much I hate that. The good news is my fear of public speaking overrides my need to cry, so we should be fine. <laughs> you laugh. Um, so, before I get to the awards, I want to say to you, it's not very often that by age 14 you have done something to change the world, but I will say that this group has taken our band program now and forever to a new level. So I hope you are proud of the impact that you've made. You've made the band program for, better for everyone, for all incoming classes. I really appreciate it. Um, and for parents that are here, I want to thank you for driving them and bringing them to all of the things and making sure they have their polo shirt clean and working around their sports schedules. I also know that's a big part of it, and I really appreciate that as well. All right, so before we get back to the crying part, I've got three different types of awards to give. Um, the first award is a growth award. These are for students who have made demonstrable growth in all areas of music production and theory. And these two students are Evan Zakruski and Kaylin Crayley. My next award is a leadership award. These are for students who have demonstrated leadership, an active leadership role in the ensembles, and always demonstrate pride, excellence, and community. And I've been able to see these students actually take a role in eighth grade as someone who works with the younger students, which has been a beautiful thing to see. So I actually have three because I could not narrow it down. So it's Abby O'Leary, Ari Flanders, and Colin Barrow. of giving a national award. This is the director's award. It's given by um, the Instrumentalist magazine. It's for a student who demonstrates exceptional ability and commitment to excellence. Um, this goes to a student that won't be any surprise. She's participated in literally every single opportunity I have given in three years. Every honor band, every audition, every outside group, everything. And this goes to Isabella Ivani. applause for our recipients. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Our unified arts teachers do have to go back to class, but can we give them a round of applause? Okay, next on the agenda is honor roll. So, um, we are first going to present honor roll, which is uh, these students received all A's or B's on the report cards in all of their classes, on their core classes. So, this is um, wonderful that there's this many. So, if you could hold your applause. Um, those of you who are receiving one, um, come up and get it from your respective wind teacher and um, head back to your seat. So let's be respectful while I am announcing. Thank you. Uh, Carter Accomando. Jacob Albert. Caitlin Amadon. Evelyn Archer. Jacob Baker. Jack Beauchamp. Riley ba Bison. Shailen Bison. Jacob Karen. <laughs> Jake Cawthorn. Lily Chafe. 
Hannah Cook. Haley Corliss. Cameron Cody. Chloe Creer. Kaylin Creeley. Damian Croto. Hannah DeShane. Upstairs. Grace DeSousa. Cole Druin. Ariana Flanders. Alex Gagnon. <laughs> Taylor Gag Galge. Cole Garsha. Kaden Garrett. Upstairs. Alira Godin. Isaac Halko. John Hamilton. Aiden Harrelton. Victoria Hedgeland. Jenna Hilbert. Shaylin Hinton. Shelby Hoey. Morgan Hurley. Corinne Kelly. Madison King. Alexa Colby. Oh, yeah. Avery Larson. Mariah Lloyd. Brianna Labano. Nathan McIntyre. Alexis Marks. Congratulations. Nathan Mazzarello. Matt Migliori. Brendan Millward. Congratulations. Morgan Muskian. Spencer Mullen. KP Murphy. Ava Noel. Ariel Ortiz. Kaylin Palumbo. Scott Paquette. Upstairs. Aiden Patton. Congratulations. Ashley Petty. Upstairs. Ashley Peters. Aiden Peterson. Allison Phillips. John Pilato. Matthew Plutnicki. <laughs> Eva Razumovich. Emma Rapisi. Aislin Ryapel. Colin Rourke. Mackenzie Roche. Matt Sanaswaso. Ashley Stupa. Matt Todino. Jake Travis. Upstairs. Natalia Vertuccio. Alexis Vieira. Kalen Wagner. Matt Warren. Ella Wayshar. Congratulations, Matt. Evan Zakruski and Olivia Zakruski. Would all of our honor roll? Please stand up. Congratulations. So the following students, this is for high honor roll, have achieved high honor roll for the year. These students have received all A's on their report cards for the year. So once again, if we could hold our applause until the end. Mia Branceri, Leah Breton. Down or up, sorry. Casually. Pressuring me. <laughs> um, Lindsay Butler, Mia Cantacesso, Alex Carroll, Caitlin Davis, Upstairs. Amy Demers, Gracie D. Simone, Abigail Druding, 
Upstairs. Stacy Egan. Upstairs. Ariana Flanders. Downstairs. Andrew Haley. Upstairs. 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 Apparently she got both. Miss Flanders. <laughs> we'll have to check that. Andrew Haley. Isabella Ivani. Upstairs. Curtis Latender. Ryan Lind. Abby McFarland. Rhiannon Ossinger. Upstairs. Molly Sauer. Brooke Slayton. Carly Sloan. Congratulations. Thank you. Kate Stevens. Did you say up? Oh, mine. Sorry. Okay. That one's mine too. <laughs> Jonathan Strout. I was like, where's my Trip shoes? Williams. Where Good job, guys. Congratulations, Trip. Hold on, hold on. Hold on! All of our high honors, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations. next award, I always get a lot of grumbling and talk over this one right after I announce what it is, because most people don't get it. Uh, it's the Perfect Attendance Award. Anyone here think they made it? <laughs> so we have one person that wanted to be in school so much, never sick, never out, never tardy, never dismissed. Anyone know who that is? Curtis Latender. Teachers cannot do that either. I am guilty as well. Our next awards are going to be given by our core academic teachers, and we will start with uh, Dr. Lee. Good morning. I could probably talk all day long about everybody in this class. You guys have a special place in my heart. We had a great year. The downstairs 8th grade science achievement award is going to a student who has been working really hard all year and trying to learn everything that she can and more, and I mean everything. She also achieved the highest overall grade in 8th grade science. This year's Team Mighty 8th Grade Science Award goes to Gracie DeSimone. So, first of all, your kids have been making me cry since yesterday, and like most teachers, I hate public speaking, so I'm going to make this really short. I, as the math teacher, let the math decide who the math awards go to. In both Algebra and Common Core, it was within like one point. So for Algebra, I have Abby McFarland, and for Common Core, hold on, wait! For Common Core, there was a tie, which is why I wouldn't tell either of you yesterday, so Nathan McIntyre and Carly Sloan. Next is Mrs. Lamonte. Thank you. 
So for Team Mighty, our eighth grade English award actually goes to two people because there was a tie. And the scores were really close for everybody that didn't make it, so congratulations, excellent year in English. I'm glad that they're best friends. Abby McFarlane and Kate Stevens. Okay, and the next set of awards goes, comes from our social studies teacher, Mrs. Bryant. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Bryant. I teach social studies on the downstairs team. And this morning I have two awards to give out. The first one is to the school-wide geography B winner, National Geographic B winner, technically. Um, and that award goes to Jonathan Stroud. goes to um, a student that averaged 100% for every quarter, which is an amazing feat. It, she's also a student that participated, asked questions, and honestly, it was just a pleasure to have in class every single day. And this award goes to Abby McFarland. <laughs> So I have two awards to give out. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. Um, the first award I will give out is the Science Achievement Award for the upstairs team. Uh, so much of science is not just remembering facts, but taking ownership of those facts and presenting it in a way that not only thinks outside the box, but breaks the box. Um, and this student has done that in every respect possible. I always look forward to seeing her work. Uh, Isabella Avanti, you are the winner. All right, I also had the pleasure of teaching social studies, and they say that those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. Well, the student has definitely learned her history, so I, can, I can't even tell you what she has in her future. Uh, Caitlin Davis. Next up is Ms. Hatman Holmes. Going to readjust. Um, English has been fun this year. No matter how, how much moaning and groaning there was, everybody enjoyed at least one book. You have to admit it, right? <laughs> well then. We'll work on that for next year. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to stop that. <laughs> I don't even know that that's where that is. <laughs> oh. 
Well, that lightened up the speech. <laughs> um, this student, it, it's difficult, and it was close between quite a few, um, but this student edged out just by that much. Um, always came to class prepared, excited to learn, sweet, nice to everybody. I don't think I heard her groan once. I really do believe she enjoyed English. Um, and this award goes to Isabella Ivani. I also have the pleasure of teaching social studies. We all had fun this year. Do we agree on that? Okay, a little bit more than English. I'll take it. Um, this award goes to someone that's always tried, very hard, very focused, um, always studied, encouraged his group to study. He worked very hard for this, and it goes to Trip Williams. Next up, we have Mrs. Carton. Hmm. Morning, everybody. So, math isn't just about being able to compute and be able to do the work that's in front of you, but there's a lot of communication and collaboration that goes on. In um, the Common Core class, the, this student, she was always prepared, she was always working, trying to better herself, she was always advocating for herself, and she ended up with the highest grade in um, all of Common Core, and that's Shaylin Basing. In the accelerated class I had two this year, so it was really much more difficult than it has been in previous years, and you have to look at both classes as a whole. Um, both classes were wonderful, had a great personality, and kept me on my toes, and a lot of times I would joke that in one particular class I always had a math phobia because I always seemed to speak faster than what I was able to write and often make mistakes, and they caught me, which was great because we chuckled and we were able to move on and learn from everyone making mistakes. Um, this particular student, though she is quiet, she is fierce in her group work, and she is able to help and collaborate with anyone that she wants to sit with, um, that will listen to her, and she is able to take the concepts that we learn and be able to manipulate them in her, in her mind and be able to apply them to pretty much everything that we've done. And to see that progress at such a young age is really wonderful. Isabella Avani, you've got the highest grade. <laughs> I also had the pleasure of teaching social studies, and um, this social studies class was great. Um, we had a lot of projects, we were able to talk a lot and be able to learn about the uh, American history. Um, very close in this class in a lot of different aspects. When we got to project work, that's where I got to see this one particular student shine. Um, I think what I liked best about her, um, her group work and her collaboration is that she was not afraid to keep all of her peers in, in a row and be able to make all of her peers be accountable for every single project that they did, and she co would call them out in a polite way to make them work to what they needed to do to get the project done. This goes to Lindsay Butler. Um, this next award, I'm not sure she's aware, oh, actually, I think she's aware, um, but this is an award where um, there was an essay contest for um, the VFW, and they sent us your certificates, and um, she's been awarded $250, so congratulations to Lily Chapin. The 
This next part is Student of the Month. Um, we have Student of the Month for March, April, and May. We decided actually not to do June because Mr. Uh, Furbush didn't call any snow days this year, which we're thankful for, but it's been crunch time for us, <laughs> definitely. But uh, we are happy to get our summer vacation started. So uh, we have March, April, and May for you today. Uh, so for March, uh, Team Extreme. This student has shown that he is a team player, not only in basketball, but in the classroom as well. Although he is quiet, he always tries his best. His hard work and tenacity come through in his classwork, assessments, and project. This student always works well, no matter which group he is part of, and he makes sure everyone has a specific role. He is respectful of his peers and teachers. This person is Matt Santislasa. Uh, the second person for Team Extreme, our student for March started the school year very quiet. Since then, she has really opened up and found her place. She has a creative approach to her projects and she works hard on them from the beginning to end. This student never settles for anything less than her absolute best. She is an excellent self-advocate and will seek out answers she does not know. For her Genius Hour project, she always came in prepared with materials she needed and she worked on it week after week. Her project was to provide our health teacher with a small scale skeleton model and it came out amazing. The student excels in anything she puts her mind to. Her name is Hannah DeShane. Excuse me. For Team Mighty in the month of March, a quiet leader and role model, this student is an asset to her team. She demonstrates, demonstrates her confidence humbly and is always willing to help out both her teachers and peers. She is always working hard in class and strives to do well. An active, positive member of the school community, she is both respectful and encouraging to others. Team Mighty Student of the Month for March is Ashley Peters. Team Mighty in the month of March. This student demonstrates tiger expectations in every day through his effort in class and kindness to others. He is always willing to let another student join the group or will take the time to assist another student with their learning. A role model, he shows respect not only to his teachers but his peers as well. Team Mighty Student of the Month for March is John Hamilton. in April. Our student for April is a member of National Junior Honor Society. He is a positive student who works hard every day. His dedication to his academics can be seen through his effort and work with the NJHS team. He is always sure to include everyone in his group and will often take the lead to ensure the work is completed on time. His wonderful personality shines and has become brighter through the year. This student naturally helps others and is so nice to everyone. The student's name is Scott Paquette. Team extreme, extreme for April. This student is a true perfectionist. Although quiet, her voice comes through in her work. She is very a very talented artist, and this shows through her music and her visual artwork. Her work and effort have been consistent throughout the school year, and she does not slow down. The student is able to balance her schoolwork and extracurricular activities, never letting anything be less than her absolute best. She exceeds the Tiger expectations and goes above and beyond her work expectations each day. The student has truly found her rhythm. Her name is Isabella Vanyu. <laughs> For T 
Team Mighty for the month of April. A polite young lady, the students demonstrates the Tiger expectations by being a quiet leader. She aspires to work to her potential and respects her peers and their opinions. She is always honest, helpful, and humble. Team Mighty Student of the Month for April is Hannah Cook. For Team Mighty for April, a kind and helpful young man who demonstrates his Tiger expectations daily. Whether he is in the classroom, the office, or the hallway, he is always ready to help a staff member or student. Do you already know who it is? <laughs> he is respectful to all while always showing a positive attitude. Team Mighty Student of the Month for April is Cole Druin. for May. Are you getting that on film? Because that's the cutest thing ever. Oh. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Okay. All right. Stop it. <laughs> you okay? All right. All right. Team Mighty for May. This student is a hardworking young woman that demonstrates the Tiger expectations as a role model for our school by being a positive and inspiring to other students. She is not only active in the National Junior Honor Society, she is also responsible by assisting with morning study, helping run events, and keeping minutes for the school's charter. Team Mighty Student of the Month for May is Kate Stevens. For the month of May on Team Mighty, This student demonstrates her Tiger expectations both in the classroom and during her sporting events. The student is always on task during class, putting full effort into her schoolwork and trying her hardest while on the court or field. She is always willing to lend a hand to anyone in need and is quick to volunteer to help. Team Mighty Student of the Month for May is Brooks, Brooks Slayton. Mighty for May. This student is a very hard worker who always puts in his fullest effort no matter how small or large the task. He has been a star student in the classroom all year long, putting in all his effort, helping other students, and volunteering to help teachers as well. He continuously demonstrates Tiger expectations throughout the year and has been a pleasure to have in class. Team Mighty Student of the Month for May is Nate McIntyre. For the month of May, Team Mighty. This student is a dedicated student who puts forth great effort in all he does. He is the type of student that is an asset to any class that he is in. He works well with his peers, always respectful and kind. Outside of the classroom, he excels as a student athlete in both baseball and in gymnastics. It is our pleasure to have him in class in our, in our classes this year. Team Mighty Student of the Month for May is Evan Zakruski. Team Extreme for the month of May. Our first student for May, good thing this is in order. <laughs> um, first, our first student in May is someone that always comes to class with a smile. 
Their outgoing personality brightens up the classroom when they walk in. He is not afraid to ask questions and will make sure he is clear on the expectations. The student brings a sense, his sense of humor with him and students and staff enjoy it. He always comes to the class prepared and will make sure he helps his groups during group work. He has been a pleasure to have in class. His name is Jake Travis. Fourteen Extreme uh, for May. This student always comes to class with a smile on his face. He is a positive student and extremely polite. The words please and thank you are naturally part of his vocabulary. He is a team player and is sure to include everyone during group work. This student is always nice to his peers and his teachers notice this each day. He is a strong participant in class and offers answers when others are hesitant. His teachers appreciate his positive attitude and politeness. His name is Cesar Martinez. Team Extreme for May. Our next student can be quiet but has really opened up throughout the school year. She always works hard and tries her best. She is always nice to everyone no matter where she is. She has been seen picking up items someone drops in the hall when they have too many books to carry and it has been great to see her grow throughout the year. The Tiger expectations define how the student is each day and she is overall a nice person. Her name is Shay Bison. For Team Extreme in the month of May, our, we're not done. Try our final student for the month of May is an excellent representation of the Tiger expectations. She balances her responsibilities with the band, school, and extracurricular activities with ease. This student is very kind and polite with her peers and students alike. Her work is always on par and always her best. She comes to class prepared and will often help others that may not be prepared. The student is a dedicated band member just as much as she is to her just as much as she is to her academics. Her personality has come shown through this school year and we have enjoyed seeing her thrive. This person is Stacy Egan. So the next group of student of the month are, are actually student of the trimester from our Unified Arts teachers. For art, I chose a student for art for the student of the trimester because I feel she's a great example of meeting the Tiger expectations. Although she is quiet, she is always putting forth her best effort. When she arrives to class, she is always smiling and gets right to work. She is always willing to help with the classroom and set up and clean up. She challenges herself on a regular basis and always turns in her best work. Great kid all around, a great example of what the Tiger expectations are all about, and a great choice for student of the trimester. The student is Shaylin Bison. This is for foreign language student of the trimester. This student inspires others while his, with his daily enthusiasm for each new project or assignment. Recently, he drew amazing pictures of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris before and after the fire. In addition, he is always willing to help others, be it a peer, a staff member, or anyone else. He is also active as a student leader and in the community as a participant in the local theater. The student of the month, student of the trimester, her language is Cole Drew. For student of the trimester for band, this student is a true leader in the band program. He is an excellent trumpet player, taking on the most difficult parts in both band and jazz band. 
He also has taken on the responsibility of a group of a younger trumpet players in the jazz band and turned them into a great section. He is polite and respectful, but also very funny. He leads by example in rehearsal, playing whatever part he is assigned with mastery. Our eighth grade band student of the trimester is Colin Barra. <laughs> For general music. It is always a pleasure to have this student in class because she is an infectiously happy person who sets a positive example for her peers. She has a great sense of humor and works very hard when faced with complex goals that can be frustrating during a lesson. I appreciate how she treats everyone in class with the utmost respect and is not afraid to chime in with her own input. In addition to respecting herself and others, she also respects the learning process and her own ability to go beyond the class goals and objectives. Congratulations to Aaliyah Golden for being General Music's 8th grade senior honor. For physical education, this student, this student is a stand, stands out as one of the finest examples of embodying all of the characteristics characteristics which we focus on within the Pell Memorial School Physical Education Program. The student's sheer love, energy, and excitement for physical activity and all sports has been a major asset to class, helping create an environment that is not only competitive, but highly encouraging and caring. The most incredible attribute that this student displays is a true sense of humility, making himself the finest of teammates and classmates. This month's student of the trimester for physical education is Jacob Albert. For computers, this student exemplifies the Tiger qualities. She is extremely respectful with fellow classmates, teachers, and school property. She is always willing to help other classmates and leads by example being a positive peer. She regularly participates in class activities and goes well above the expected assignment to demonstrate her competencies within the learning objectives. Her positive attitude and genuine smile make her a delight to have in class. Madison Gillis is being recognized as a student of the tri trimester for computers. <laughs> for health, this student has been a huge asset to the eighth grade health class this trimester. She is a strong and independent person who is always focused and hardworking. She is a great role model with her work ethic and attitude in class. She is also incredibly helpful to her peers and especially to one peer who she supports in class. She encourages positive social interactions with peers who can use support. Her respect toward me never wavers. For these reasons, Ashley Peters is the eighth grade health student of the trimester three. Ashley does not like public recognition. I don't. <laughs> it is well deserved, young lady. Thank you. For library, this student brings an element of camaraderie to his library class. He is inquisitive and enjoys taking his learning a step further. He is, has an exceptional sense of humor and is not afraid to use it. The student of the trimester for library is John Pilato. the students of the month and students of the trimester for March, April, and May, could you please stand and be recognized?
my helper, Mrs. Mackey, is not here today, so I'm going to solicit some teachers. So. so the next award that we will be doing is actually um, unique to eighth grade. So oh, here it is. I have a letter here that I'd like to read um, to the award recipients. Mrs. Trump and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2019 President's Education Award. It is a privilege to join your family, friends, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. The success and education of our youth are vitally important to the future of America and the entire world. Your distinguished commitment to learning gives us great hope. Our nation is strengthened by your hard work, leadership, and academic excellence. We encourage you to continue to believe in yourself strive toward even greater accomplishments, and pursue your dreams no matter what the obstacle. May God bless you, and may he continue to bless the United States of America. President Donald Trump. So the award recipient, you can clap if you like. <laughs> so these are presidential awards for gold and silver. Um, the first that we will do are the Silver Awards. This presidential award is given to select students who there's a criteria of 3.5 GPA or above. However, that's gold. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> said silver. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm getting to it. Um, so that's the gold award is 3.5 or above. The Silver Award is you haven't met that GPA, however, you've shown tremendous growth or possibly overcome some obstacles and a commitment to learn. So I will read these, if you could hold your applause until the end. Brianna DeCanto, Shailen Bising, oh sorry, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. uh, Ariel Ortiz, Spencer Mullen, Ashley Supa, Sean Lowell, Carly Sloan, Congratulations. Mackenzie Roche, Haley Corliss, Nathan McIntyre, Alex Gagnon, Ashley Peters, Congratulations to our Silver Award winners. So the President's Award for Academic Excellence um, for the Gold Award, to receive this award, students must earn a GPA of 3.5 or above and score above the standard on the state test, which we just had. Do you guys remember the SATS test? Yeah, not fun. <laughs> but some of you did pretty well. Um, so they must also demonstrate high motivation, initiative, integrity, and intellectual depth, leadership qualities, and exceptional judgment. So there are several. If you could hold your applause until the end. Isabella Vanyan, Gracie DeSimone, Caitlin Davis, Lindsay Butler, Abby McFarland, Rihanna Ossinger, Abigail Druding, Amy Demers, Jonathan Strout, Kate Stevens, Molly Sauer, Stacy Egan, Mia Cantasesso, Mia Branceri, Andrew Haley, Upstairs. Matt Warren, Upstairs. Evelyn Archer, Upstairs. Jacob Albert, Caden Garrett, Upstairs. Chloe Upstairs. Creer, Upstairs. Lily Chafe, Upstairs. Ryan Lind, Upstairs. Shailen Hinton, Congratulations. 
round of applause for our gold award recipients. Yes, you're good, yes. or you want no, me to say something? you do it. <laughs> I have to do it. Okay. You're just as good at it. All right, well, congratulations to all of our President's Award winners. Uh, quite the achievement. Another round of applause, please. <laughs> Last night, we had our memories at Memorial for our eighth grade class, and we had a program. Hopefully, you each got one. You should, each student got one in their bag, but hopefully your par parents got one as well. Um, on the front cover, we had a contest for the front cover, um, and we had um, a winner. And then on the second, um, we had a second place person who was on the back. So on the back, we had this one. Eva. Very cute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You were, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this was what was on the back, and um, very cute tiger, and this was Eva Vasilovich. And on the front, the winner of the contest was Alexis Marks. Alexis Marks. <laughs> so I would like to congratulate all the award recipients and congratulations to the eighth grade class of, as a whole. level of dedication and involvement from our students in both academics as well as the many varied activities that we offer at Memorial. We hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you continue this during your high school career and beyond. And students, all this would not be made possible without your teachers, staff, advisors, coaches. How about a round of applause for them? I'd also like to thank the parents, families, and friends that have supported you throughout your educational journey. I know they're not all here today, and um, hopefully you'll watch on PTV. But students, how about a round of applause for your families, friends, and parents. I'm almost done. A little over an hour. To our departing eighth grade class of 2019, we hold on. I'm almost done. We hope that you have a fabulous summer, and come September, we know your energy will return and you will get things done. Remember that school is a precious place, and inside lies all of our tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our award assembly. You are welcome to. Whoa, hold on. You guys are a little anxious. Um, you're welcome to stay and take a few pictures. Students, please follow your teacher's directions one last time for departing the gym. Thank you to our parents, teachers, families, friends for sharing in your child's journey. This has been a fabulous class and we will definitely miss them. Congratulations, eighth graders. Best wishes. Enjoy your time.